Are you getting knocked down over and over again? Are you burning through fairies faster than you can say Triforce of Courage? Even after dropping a few Gs on a shiny new set of armor and investing in hearts, you can still get your butt kicked by some of the deadlier creatures that roam Hyrule. If this sounds familiar, it might be time for you to hit up the rest of those great fairy fountains. Keep in mind that these fairy fountains can get a bit pricey, so you might want to check out our money-making guide first. You've probably found the first one by now. If not, head to Kakariko Village's shrine and you can find the great fairy in this little forest right behind it. For the low, low price of 100 rupees, you can restore her power and start upgrading your clothing and armor. The fountain will grant you access to level 1 upgrades. Most armor you find will have a base defense of 3. Once you upgrade it here, it will increase to 5. I'd recommend hitting up the Tabantha region next. Before we head over to the Great Fairy Fountain though, let's make a pit stop at Tabantha Bridge Stable. Here you can find Torin. Talk to him and he'll ask you to give the Great Fairy a 500 rupee offering. Lucky for us, the second fairy will ask for exactly 500 rupees in order to restore her power. Once you've scaled the tower in the region, look to the south and you should see the fountain from here. An armor set with a base defense of 3 will increase to 8 with the level 2 upgrade. The next fountain you will probably come across is south of Terrytown or on the east shore of Lake Akala. If you can't find Terrytown on your map, that might be because it doesn't exist yet. If you want to know how to build Terrytown, check out our How to Buy a House video. This fountain will cost you a thousand rubies, so hopefully you've accrued a bit more cash at this point. An armor set with a base defense of 3 will increase to 12 with a level 3 upgrade. Now it's time for the fourth and final Great Fairy Fountain. This one is probably the hardest one to get to. See that sandstorm to the southwest of Gerudo Village? Good because that's where we're going. Once you've stocked up on supplies, let's head out. Keep in mind that once you've stepped foot in the storm, you cannot check your map. So keep heading southeast until the storm clears and look for these leviathan bones. They are pretty tough to miss. Underneath you can find the fourth and final fountain, but don't celebrate yet. This fountain will cost you, wait for it, 10,000 rupees. Make sure to complete the nearby shrine so you can warp back here once you have enough money. This fairy will allow you to upgrade your armor to level 4, meaning that armor sets that have a base defense of 3 will now be at 20. Uh -huh. You don't have to follow this order when unlocking the fountains. The first will always cost you 100, the second 500, the third 1000, and the final 10,000. Certain armor sets will also give you perks as you upgrade them. Unfortunately, the Hylian set, which I'm using right now, does not. There's still a lot we don't know about Breath of the Wild, so if you find anything cool, leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.